All right, today I went to court to support a friend of mine who is going through a divorce. And I'm not gonna provide a lot of details about the situation. I just wanna talk about the process, okay? He thought that he could get a default divorce and it was gonna be simpler, simple, a lot simpler than what it turned out to be. He thought that, you know, theoretically, you file for divorce, you declare the things you want and the conditions you want, and the other party has a certain amount of time to respond. If not, it automatically goes through as a default divorce, or at least that's how he thought it was gonna go down. It didn't go down like that, okay? He had an attorney, he saw an attorney, on a phone number on a billboard, and he thought he can call that person, hire that person as an attorney. Let me tell you something, if you're a guy, just because an attorney makes a lot of money representing women and helping them get resources from guys doesn't mean that that attorney is gonna be good at helping a guy keep his resources. Keep that in mind. You need to find an attorney who comes with references, people that you can talk to and say, that, hey, yeah, this person is legit. This guy has experience representing men or this woman has experience representing men, if, especially if you're a guy, because there's more money in representing the women and helping them get resources naturally. Uh, typically, a guy has to have a significant amount of money or some decent money to find some deep, decent reference, representation. <sighs> So he tried to go along without an attorney. He filed the paperwork and he had one paper wrong. One area he didn't fill out and that was enough to postpone it. There's another hearing. So he finally got his paperwork right and he's battling it out with his would-be uh, would ex-wife and he reports that the judge or ref referee sided with her even though she had no evidence. He had folders, he had documents, he had people signing doc documents, uh, uh, declaring that they knew that the kids lived with him and all this other stuff. The judge slash referee, according to him, didn't even want to see it. There's a strong bias out there. I'm not saying all judges, all clerks, all administrators. I'm not saying that, but there is a strong bias out there. A lot of people are very biased against men when it comes to divorce, when it comes to child custody. And you could be dealing with some problems at every level in the system. This guy's been through the ringer. This guy's been through the entire system. Well, not even, ugh, he hasn't even, get, even arrived at the main hearing yet. Okay, there's a lot of times too, there's people you have to see before you even get to the judge. He thought this was gonna be a default divorce. Hey, let me tell you something right now. Just because the rules say A, B, and C doesn't mean it's necessarily gonna go down like that. So if you're going to, through a divorce, you need to be prepared be prepared to deal with things going differently than what you thought they were going to be. Okay, so I can't offer legal advice. All I can say is don't be surprised if certain things happen and you need to find, uh, you may want to consider finding good representation, a good attorney who specializes in the situation that you're in. Because th there have been courts where, where judges or referees have blatantly coach and supported the female party in the case, even when both parties didn't have a lawyer. In this case, neither party had lawyers. Be very careful. I want to put that out there. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Don't forget, the future belongs to those who prepare for it today. It's raining out here. Very dismal day here in Flint. Well, actually, we're out here in Burton, but <laughs> let me get in this gym, guys.